Hey guys, so I want to talk to you guys about um, a referral that I got from my neighbor. You know, walking the dogs, ran to each other again. You know, I know what he does. He knows what I do. So he he wants to set us up with a client who's in the financial sector and security sector, and he's been doing a a, a medium sized budget, doing SEO, Google Ads. They said it was working um, in the beginning in terms of producing transactions, producing website traffic and volume. Um, so the account managers, I had a quick call with them, a quick meeting. It's actually on a Sunday, believe it or not. And we spoke about it. And they're kind of interested in us kind of looking under the hood, taking a look at what they're doing so far, what they've been doing, kind of compare it to what the market might be able to provide for them. And they're kind of having doubts. So they want us to take a look at at you know, take a look at the nuts and bolts of the technical side of what they're doing, because there's a good opportunity here. Again, it was a warm referral. So I think we have an opportunity to uh, really get on a nice client here in something that we have experience with. So, Sean, just so you know, uh, I went with this uh, in here and we went through and got the access to the Google Ads account. Uh, I spent uh, quite a bit of time going through it. So a lot of different points of opportunity where we can definitely help them get more for their money or just reduce their budget or just just get a better cost for conversion so i think as we go through the account you'll see right now that there are, there's a lot of opportunities we can definitely save them a lot of money generate them more results um you know they're spending quite a bit of money in google ads so i think their expectations you know should be high but based on what they're currently getting they're not getting much of anything and one of the key parts that I think they're going to have issues with it, I'm not even sure if they're tracking is set up right. I know tracking is a big issue for a lot of companies. They don't know how to set it up or what to set up. So I think that may be something we need to check to see if they can, uh, or if we can update the tracking code for them. Yeah. Wasn't there, um, I, I saw that, I saw the, I saw that uh, lead in our CRM. Uh, was it uh, SEO, right? And on the Google ad side. So I, I did see the access come through and I took a, about a 15 to 20 minute look and it's cool. It's, uh, you know, the pretty common mistakes that, that we've seen through auditing, you know, all these hundreds of other clients or prospects, you know, that we've had. And uh, there's a few things that come, that come top to mind. I mean, they're spending about 65, $70,000 a month right now. Nice. And it's a, it's a, that's a pretty decent budget. And the problem with that is um, the, well, whoever was managing it before, you know, did did a really poor job, um, you know, managing that budget. So, for example, and these, you know, these are things that we've talked about all the time that we've seen is, you know, really poor keyword selection. I mean, they had keywords that are more informational. So yep. these are the ones that are not, they're not someone looking for their services, but someone looking for information about the services. I think you know that's great for SEO. But for when you're paying per click, we want to focus on the, the transactional commercial keywords. Um, so that's uh, and also that they weren't using negative keywords. So there was probably ninety percent of all the search terms, you know, that were in in there were not even relevant to what they do. Wow, does if that mean we, wasted budget, Sean? Oh, like ninety percent of their budget is wasted, you know. And if we jump in right in, I mean. You know, jumping right into it, we can. I know we can save them like ninety percent of their budget uh, right off the bat, which we would, you know, reutilize for relevant keywords and actually drive conversions to their site. So when you I know, talk with them, I can talk confidently that we're going to yeah. be able to save them. We should be pretty impactful in a short term. Oh yeah, I'm going to. I'll value. send you. I mean, sometimes you know how it is. If we send, if we send prospects what they did wrong, you know, they may just walk away and try to do themselves but we still do it anyway because we're still helping them at the end of the day whether we do it or someone else does so it is what it is Sean, I'll, did you... You, I'll send you screenshots of probably the worst good worst idea cool yeah two or that. three good examples that'd be great sean did you see any performance max campaigns because i thought i saw that in there and I, I know a lot of marketing companies do the easiest thing possible just so they don't have to yeah. do much management yeah, the performance max. So sometimes having, sometimes using, uh, 
the newest and greatest, supposedly, according to Google, you know, and we are, yeah. even though we're a Google partner, I mean, we don't follow all their guidelines because some of their guidelines actually hurt clients. Uh, so for performance max, there's something we've tested internally ourselves as well. And as you know, you know, we've talked about this before. It, it just doesn't work. You know, it, it, all it does is it's, it's just it doesn't work. <laughs> From the less technical side, from the less technical side, oh, go ahead. Yeah, because it gives you enough, Sean, where people don't ask too many questions, but they definitely is a lot of other ways to get more for what you're getting. And yeah. I think that's what's happening here. They're they're getting a little bit, and they're thinking it's working, but you know, coming with us or a, any competent marketing person can provide a much better value for what they're getting. Yeah, I mean, yeah. for. Well, for this particular one, because Karen, in case they in case they may ask, like why you know we're recommending to get rid of the performance max campaign, mm -hmm. you know, I looked at the performance max, and it's it's a black box. Like you literally have no control which keywords you've been on, or where it's being seen. You have no control at all. You're just hoping for the best. It's worse than you know just a shotgun. It's worse than just throwing stuff on the wall. So it sounds like it's kind of like Google likes to do that. It's this way you're giving them all your money and you're just letting Google decide how they're going to spend your money on their platform. It kind of seems like it's rigged yeah, to a certain extent against the client. And I mean, it, it is. Like you just saw there was a high level executive. Terrible. He just, he, you know, whistleblower said that, you know, Google increased the, you know, some of the ad clicks, you know, to make their quarterly revenue. Um, but, uh, Hey, Google wow. is the biggest player in the space, you know, and, you know, but we have ways that like we know what they're doing and we're able to combat that. And one of the ways is not utilizing performance max. Mm. So there's actually proof that it works. Uh, well, that's what I feel good about us is we always, we actually put our eyes on it, our hands on the account on a daily, regular basis. So um, yeah. how many, the, the guy, the two guys that approached me said that they were, weren't even sure if the guys were doing any work on the account. Did you check the work logs and were they even going in? Yeah, I didn't even know you knew what work, work logs were. But yeah, you can, che you can check the history of the accounts in your Google Ads account and see how much work was actually getting done. And I mean, for $60,000, that's, you know, 60, well, no, 65, 70, I, not the exact number I said, uh, but it's up there. Uh, there was probably one or two campaign changes you know in the last few months and it's it's just not an, enough i mean there's 90 percent of the search terms are not even relevant to what they do right so that you know that's a huge that's a huge hit you know huge problem right there uh the uh jonathan you tracking right so tracking has for some reason most google ads accounts even run by the most experienced agencies you know they don't set up tracking properly and this is a really big you know issue with with this particular you know account that I looked into their their phone their their calls the phone numbers i mean there is no tracking set up at all on the back end so if we're if they're not giving google conversion data then google has no way of optimizing the account it's, it's, it's never going to perform and how's the client know that his money is being spent well and effectively yeah you, you know I don't know if it's a nicer way of saying it, but they're just totally <laughs> wasting their money, you know, and they're getting well, kicked in the balls. <laughs> this is great. It's a really good opportunity to really help some good people. Yeah. And, uh, exactly. Really be impactful quickly, which is which is very exciting. Yeah. So, I Sean, feel Sean, and Karen, yeah. what I want us to do is we'll put together a list of deliverables that we'll be able to provide them. You know, you know, checklist of what we want to go over with them, what we want to provide them, and then We'll take that to Sean. We'll go through it with him and make sure that this is what we're going to follow. Because I want to make sure that they they know we're going to be tracking things. We're going to set up conversion tracking. We're going to make sure that GA4 is set up on the website correctly. So we don't have them coming back to us in a, th you know, a month, three months and say, oh, we where is the tracking? What are we doing? Let's get it done right the first time. Let's show them what they're getting. Let's you know optimize and maximize what they're spending. And uh, this way we have deliverables to show them. Like, yeah, we can set up the call. Maybe we'll set up a two week call, a four week call. And in the beginning, the we'll do yeah. schedule. In the beginning, we'll do you know more, just so they they know what they're what they're going through, and we they can see a little bit more clearly because it looks like they probably don't know much right now. Do they? Uh, do they have a like, marketing director or or someone that's technical? Like, do you guys need me on the call? Like, how technical do you think it's going to get for the next call with them? 
I think it would help in the beginning just because I know there are some areas of opportunity, but with this type of budget and and the owner spending this type of money, I think it would be helpful just to kind of have the whole team, all the all the eyes, all the people that are going to be working on the campaign <coughs> kind of be there. So this way, not only we can say, hey, we're going to save you. It looks like we have an opportunity to save you quite a bit of money in a relatively short manner, but here's why. And I think if they can hear the why from, you know, the actual gentleman who's doing the work, I think it would be really good for them to hear. Yeah, I think it's important because nowadays everyone's trying to hide behind cameras and just not that no one wants to meet people. So I, I think having everyone that's going to be working on the account is important. So, yeah, Sean, like we'll we'll set up a time sometime. Uh, well, it's today, what, Thursday? So maybe sometime early next week. And uh, Kira and I can be with them. And then, you, you know, we'll do a screen share with you and go through what we found. Dynamite. I'm excited, guys. All right, so Hopefully you guys don't hit traffic. I know it. It take all day just to meet up with a client sometimes in Long Island. <laughs> right, it's true. Especially you got to get that sweet spot, 10 to yeah. 2. All right. Uh, I guess the next call, we'll talk about the like the website uh, and SEO. Uh, but, yeah, let's get, let's get, to get the day going. Clients are already calling in, and we want to take care of them. <laughs> Dynamite. Let's talk, let's Thanks tomorrow. a lot, guys. Let's, let's talk tomorrow okay. about the SEO website part, okay? Perfect. Thanks, guys. All right, okay, man. Talk to you guys later.